Peace and blessings, family. Peace and blessings. It's Prophet Yaquim. And God just put this word on my spirit for the body of Christ today to put away the things concerning the old man and put on the new creature of Christ Jesus. Let Christ renew your hearts. Let Christ renew your minds. For that word, breakthroughs come. You know, everybody want breakthroughs, everybody want blessings, but the breakthrough really happens when you renew your mind, you renew your heart. For those are the things that the devil is after, your mind and your heart. So I pray that you can put away the things concerning the old man, put away the things of the past, your sins, your worries, your doubts, all the things that you are dwelling on in Jesus' my name. And that's why I'm about to read in 2nd Edris chapter 16 and verse 67 and it says leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever to meddle with your sins no more forever forever so you're struggling with lust greed pride gluttony anger unforgiveness you want to put those things far away from you ask god to help purify your heart your mind and your soul all through the holy blood of jesus christ and let him by you actually applying the word into your life see a lot of people read the word in today's age a lot of churches a lot of buildings you know who preach the gospel they read the word but they don't apply the word in their life. So ask yourself, are you really applying God's commandments? The commandments of Jesus, our Savior, in your daily life. Amen. For God knows what's in your heart. God knows what's in your mind. And God knows all the thoughts that you think every single day. Amen. Great is the God that we serve. Glory be to God and glory be to Jesus. And also 2nd Edris chapter 14 verses 14 and 15 it says, Let go from thee the mortal thought, the mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature, meaning put off the lust of the flesh, the deceitful lust of this world, material gain. No money, women, men, no wife or husband. And just seek the Lord while he may be found. Amen. And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee. And haste thee to flee from these times. Meaning to flee from sin. To flee from iniquity. To work on your own salvation with fear and trembling, y'all. For the truth is, we are in evil times right now, but greater evil awaits. It's not going to get no better. There's many things that still have to come to pass and be fulfilled. So you don't want to make that harder on yourself by continuing to live in sin, worry, you know, doubt, fear. You know, these things happen, but don't let these things overtake you amen let the holy spirit be your comforter and reveal all truths to you let you decrease and let him increase daily we all have to be decreasing deny ourselves so god can increase in us and the joy of the lord amen for when you delight yourself in the lord then he will give you the desires of your heart. And that starts with obeying, op applying his law, statutes, and commandments in your life. Amen. So I pray this video bless you. I pray you got edified from this video. Be filled with the glory and the joy of the Lord today, y'all. Man, it's a good day out here. Glory be to God and glory be to Jesus. Like, comment, and subscribe. And God bless you all.